I believe you all tell one more person, I never would have made it. Psalm 124 is one of the most quoted and well-known psalms in the Bible. This psalm is a part of a series of psalms. Psalm 120 to Psalm 134. It is called, ladies and gentlemen, the Songs of Ascent. They were sang by Jewish pilgrims as they journeyed from where they lived to Jerusalem for worship. By the time we get to Psalm 124, we have come to the fifth track on this Jewish pilgrim pre worship playlist they've already sang songs like i would lift up mine eyes psalm 121 to the hills from which cometh my help they've already sang that song on their way to church they've already sung psalm 122 that says i was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. They've already sang, church, Psalm 123 that says, unto thee I will lift up mine eyes and I will dwell in the heavens. But now they are singing if it had not been. For the Lord who was on our side. Can you see them this morning as they are journeying, journeying toward Mount Zion? And these songs of ascent remind us, church, that the best worship is preparing yourself on your way to worship. If you want to encounter God on another level, if you want to have a life-changing experience at church, you got to learn uh, how to start having church on your way to church. Uh, hallelujah to God. I, I'm not afraid that that's why some of us can't get with the worship and we cannot lift holy hands because you hadn't lifted them all week long. Praise God. You, you hadn't talked to God all week long, but the best, hallelujah, place to be on your way to worship is in the presence of the Lord and I like this text this morning child of God because as these children of Israel make it to the doorsteps of the temple somebody had good sense and they said when I look over the journey that we had just come from when I look down memory lane I have to testify that it is not of our own doing that cause us to be here. It was not of our own graciousness that we made it here today, but somebody said that we ought to praise God and give him a never would have made it praise. I got to tell you in this church this morning that you and I are weak individuals. We are limited individuals. We are naturally naughty and we are sinful. We are at best wretched and ratchet uh, hallelujah to God and all that we are is because of God uh, I wish I had 10 people that can praise God uh, because where I am the Lord brought me yes what I know the Lord taught me and where I am headed the Lord is going to have to take me uh, all that we are is because of God and it's in through him that we live yes Lord uh, we move and uh, we have our being in the sooner we realize uh, glory to God who we are without God uh, come on help me sound man here the more we realize we who we are without God uh, the sooner we can have joy of being uh, in God uh, praise God in here today and uh, when you look over your life church uh, you can't help but testify I need a little bit more you can't help but testify praise God of what would have happened if the Lord hadn't been on your side uh, I'm talking about sick hallelujah to God. I need him on my side. Praise God. I need God every step of the way. I cannot live without God. I cannot breathe without God. I cannot survive without God. I cannot live without God. I cannot survive without God. And if I'm going to testify, I must tell somebody that I never would have made it. 
And when you look at this psalm, ladies and gentlemen, you have to testify how to, that this psalm reminds us how to never forget where we've come from. Never to forget where we've come from and where we are today is because the Lord himself has been keeping. I like this psalm. Because the psalm, this psalm, watch this, is an antiphonal chant. They are repeating this song back and forth. If it had not been, if it, if it had not, if it had not been, man. If it, if it had not been and, 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 and this, this psalm teaches us that when you access the journey of God's activity in your life you are saved by his goodness I, I, I like this song yet again because the psalmist first of all announces the Lord's protection watch what it said the psalmist says we ought to recognize what would have happened if the Lord wasn't in fall. This psalmist looks down the corridors of history. It's obvious that their survival is because of the Lord's help. So you got to know something about Israel in order to appreciate this psalm. Israel, glory to God, are individuals who cannot make it by themselves. Israel were weak individuals. They were fickle. They felt they followed anything that sounded good or, or looked good. And when Israel gets to the place where they realized they couldn't have got on their own. They said to themselves, somebody has been on our side. Somebody has been on our side. And that's why the psalmist opens up their mouth and declares this morning, if it had not been. In the middle of introducing this conditional idea, in the middle of introducing this thought, glory be to God, the psalmist stops and says, y'all got to help me sing this. Watch what it says. If it had not been, now let Israel say, if it had not been. Are y'all going to help me preach here? And the Bible says that here it is today that this psalmist says that our individual testimony has now become our corporate testimony. See, I know some about y'all in here this week that you didn't think I know. I'm telling you in here today that if God hadn't have been with you this week, your mind would be lost. Hallelujah to God. You would have been lost your mind by now. You, you perhaps would be divorced this week. Hallelujah to God. You would have given up on those children this week, but you survived all of that because the Lord was on your side. I need about 15 people who could just leap to your feet and say, thank you for being on my side. Thank you for being by my side every day. You was on my side every moment. You were by my side every second. You was right here by my side. That's what the psalmist is saying. Watch this. Watch this. And this is why I can't stand quiet church. Because some testimonies cannot be shared alone. D David says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. I feel the Holy Ghost. And let us exalt his name. Some stuff you just can't share, share by yourself. And every now and then, church, when somebody goes to running in church, you all get behind them. Hallelujah. If somebody lift their hands and shout hallelujah, you lift your ones and shout hallelujah. Because the same God that's been good to them is the same God that's good to you. I like this. And watch this. Watch this. E even though we're about to explore the possibility of God not being on Israel's side. The Bible says, watch this now. The Bible says uh, that the Lord is undoubtedly on our side. See, see, my soul don't look back and wonder how I made it over. Y'all got to stop singing that lying church. My soul ain't looking back and wondering how I know exactly how I made it over. I wish I had 50 people who can lift.
have your chocolate hands in this church and say, I know how I made it. I know exactly how I got here today. The law is my keeper. If it had not been, hallelujah, for the Lord on my side, tell somebody it's not up for debate, hallelujah to God. It's not up for question as to what happened and how I got it to where I got it. But I'm here today, but watch what the psalmist said. He said, you got to realize the picture that the psalmist is painting. The psalmist paints several horrifying pictures. Look at it now. Of what would have happened if God hadn't stepped in. The, the Bible says that the psalmist is looking back. You, you know, you know, I I I I pastor some people, they don't have all timers. They have some timers. And, and and sometimes they forget just last year of what the Lord has done for them. I, I, I see they got some colder than friendship this morning. You got the sometimes you you, you you tripping about what's going on in your life now. Nah, you you done forgot about ten years ago when God spared your life. I, I mean you just forgot about ten days ago when the Lord kept your lights on. Some of us get the cute amnesia of the sometimes disease. He used two images. He said that was a, a ravenous animal, a raging flood. Watch what he says. He says, he says, God keeping me looked like an animal that successfully cornered by their enemies. He says the enemy is bloodthirsty and angry and it would have swallowed us up alive, but the Lord. Y'all don't want to hear me preach. Wait, 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 wait. He says that, 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 watch what the Bible says. Now, he says like, like, like the enemy, glory to God, would have swallowed us up when the, the wrath of them were kindled against us. But then he says the next is like a, a vicious tsunami. That, that comes against your life to sweep everything away and take everything by its experience. And, and, and the psalmist says, if it wasn't for God being on our side, the enemy would have had to wait. See, y'all saved in here today because y'all sitting here like you ain't got no enemies. Some of y'all have enemies because you created enemies. Some of you got enemies just because you are who you are in God. But however God allows the enemies to be. God says you ought to praise me because what the enemy tried to do, I counseled it. I need 10 people who can praise God that every lie that was told, God didn't let it come your way. And he didn't allow it, hallelujah. It formed but it didn't prosper. Glory be to God. It happened but it did not prosper. Tell somebody, I have favor on my life and I'm here because God kept it I need about 10 more people on this side that elbow, elbow your neighbor in the ring and say, God kept me in the middle of it. Wait, wait, wait. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Hallelujah. Without God, I am nothing. Without God, I would fail. Without God, my life would be rugged, just like a ship. Every time you pass by a hospital, you will just pull over and just go to shouting. Every time you pass by a jailhouse, you you ought to just praise God. Y'all ain't feeling that? Because it's some of y'all up in here and done enough stuff this week to be locked up. Y'all ain't gonna help me preach in here. You done done enough foolishness. Hallelujah to God. You done ate the wrong stuff knowing you got high blood pressure. Pig feet, hallelujah to God. Ham hocks, glory to his name. Turkey, all kind of stuff. You ain't got no business eating. And you ain't in the hospital. And you ain't in jail. Wait, I'm going to try to get this next one out without running down the street. You ain't in a cemetery this morning. I dare you to 
just tell somebody, he kept me from my enemies, and he kept me alive. Praise God. He kept me alive. I said, he kept me alive. Wait. 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 Wait now. He says, you, 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 if you're going to shout about this song, you, you, you got to... You got to recognize what would have happened if the Lord wasn't involved. But then he says you got to rejoice over what did happen because the Lord was on your side. Wait, wait, church. Don't spend so much time shouting about what God did. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo. Praise him for what he didn't let happen. God help me in this church. Wait, 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 wait. He did not give us, verse 6, us as prey to their team. But watch what the psalmist says. The psalmist says, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise God. Blessing ought to be the name of the Lord. Watch this. Who did not. You shout not over what God did. Shout over what he didn't let happen. You had that car wreck, but you did not die. Glory be to God. You had stage four cancer, but you did not die. Praise God. I wish I had some help up in here that you can look over your life and praise God over what didn't happen. See, see, there's some people up in here ought to praise God, not for open doors, but praising for some that closed. Praise God that that, that 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 Negro walked off and left you. He wasn't worth a. I thank God, Hallelujah, that there's some churches threw my resume in the trash because God knew, Hallelujah, what I was not prepared for. Tell somebody, thank God for what didn't happen. Wait, wait. David reach. David reaches back up to verse three. And, and he grabs this image of a predator stalking its prey. And he says, if God had allowed their enemies to prevail, uh, hallelujah to God, we would have been shredded up by their teeth. Watch this. David said, I'm praising God because the only reason I'm alive, hallelujah, is because God wouldn't let it happen. Wait. Don't, don't close your Bible. I ain't done preaching it this morning. Wait, he said we were all like weak, defenseless bird. Watch this now. That was prone to walk right into the enemy's trap. And what tips and traps you might not be, hallelujah, hallelujah, aware of, hallelujah to God. God says I'm able to get you out of stuff that you can't even see. See, see, hey brother, my, my grandmama said it like this. He kept me from danger seen, <laughs> unseen. What if I told you that it was some stuff within five feet of you that you did not even know of and God said I moved it before you could even recognize it. You, I, I, oh my goodness. I, I'm talking about some stuff that you don't even know happened was getting ready to happen to you and the Lord blocked it. Wait, 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 wait. Rejoice over what did happen. Rejoice how you made it through. Rejoice over who helped you get through. Hallelujah to God because no weapon formed against you, hallelujah, shall be able to prosper when the enemy, hallelujah, came in like a flood. The spirit of the Lord lifted up a standard. But look at it now. The psalmist said there was a mouth trying to consume us. There was a water trying to drown us. Huh. He said, but then there was a trap trying to ensnare us. Preach Brandon Dyer. I'm trying. They ain't, they ain't saying anything. And what, what, what the text says is, is that this defenseless, helpless bird 
was right in the trap of the enemy. But the Bible says God broke the trap. Wait, 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 wait. I like it because the Hebrew language says that the Lord frustrated the trap. See, see, God, oh, God, help me. God is not a God that will always put his hands on your enemies. The Bible says God will break some stuff that the enemy has on you. I wish I had some help up in here. See, the Bible says that this trap that has the enemies trapped in, uh, God broke it. He frustrated the, the, the snare so that the snare wouldn't stay closed. Wait, I, I like this song. Pastor Walker, I like this song. Because the psalmist says that you ought to rejoice. Hallelujah to God. Over what God, hallelujah, didn't let happen. Recognize what the Lord allowed to happen. But then the, the, the psalmist says, closing the day, that you ought to realize where your help is. Wait, 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 wait. Psalm 121 says, I'm lifting up my eyes beyond the hills because I know where my help comes from. But the psalmist said in 124 verse 8, our help is in the name of the Lord. See, y'all ain't appreciating that because you don't realize who talking in here this morning. See, Israel had a bad habit of getting to a place once God has done something and they would name that place or name that situation and they would call it Jehovah Jireh. Y'all helping me here. All right, they would call it Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. They would call it Jehovah Raha. How they would call a specific name. But the psalmist says, uh, we got a personal name now. We ain't got to call a personal on Jehovah so and so but you and I we got one name we can call I wish I had 50 people that can help me call his name this morning who woke you up this morning who started you on your way tell somebody I know where my help my hand my help is in the name tell somebody it is in the name it's in the name of the Lord Yes, Lord, and uh, we don't spend enough time, uh, yes, uh, testifying in church. Yes, we don't spend enough time, uh, yes, Lord, uh, giving God uh, the glory uh, that he deserves. Uh, yes, Lord, uh, and the song. Miss Psalmist said, Our help is in the name of the Lord. Is there anybody here who can testify in my life? I've had many tears and sorrow in my life. I've had questions. Question for tomorrow. There have been times, yes, Lord, in my life when I didn't know right from wrong. But tell somebody to it all. Yes, Lord, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Is there anybody here who can wait? your hand and say I never would have made it if it wasn't for the Lord never would have made it I've been through the storm but I made it I had heartaches and pain but I made it is there Say, I know how I made it. Tell somebody when I was down, he lifted me. When I was lost, he found me. And can we practice what Israel did on their way to church? I need 10 people. 
world who can help me sing today if it had not been if it had not been come on join with me and say if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side I would have been dead a long time ago but the Lord I said the light was right there by my side. Can I get five more people who can be a witness and just tell somebody I'm here today because, because the Lord was on my side. I remember. May the 25th, 2010, I was headed out to eat, and I got a witness here, and I was on the highway, I 20 West, headed to Chili's, and, and lost control of my Ford Explorer, it began to flip, and I got a witness, it begin to turn, it begin to spin, and next thing I knew, I was lying in a ditch, didn't know my name, lying in a ditch, unconscious, but while I was sleeping, the Lord spoke to me, and said, I've called you to be my preacher, I've called you to be my servant, you either preach, or I'm gonna let you die, yes my Lord, went to the hospital, hair was swollen, I was unrecognizable, have I got a witness here, my head was swelling, doctors told my mother, if the swelling don't go down, he may not make it through the night, mama said I don't know what's wrong, I said mama, please the doctor the Lord, I know what's wrong, the Lord has called me to preach, and I'm here today, because the Lord, and say thank you Lord for keeping me thank you Lord for keeping me I was on my way to a burning hell but thank you for keeping me is there anybody who can lift your hand and say I never would have made it If you know you made it by the grace of God, come on, lift your hands up and turn fire. Never would have made it. Never would have made it. 
never would have made it. Stronger. I'm wiser. I'm better. So much better. When I look back over all you brought me through, I realize it was you that I held on to and I never come on never would have made it oh without you when I lost my mind but now I see you were there for me and I can say I'm strong Yes, 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 I'm still here, I've been alive. 